This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so today we're going to be discussing uh, how to properly scale responses, responsive images in WordPress. Now, if you have the latest version of WordPress, you know, WordPress 5, you shouldn't really have a problem with images scaling properly, the images being responsive. Uh, it might depend also on your theme. Uh, you might have some issues. You know, the, the biggest points is that you want to add the, the images that are the correct image size. You don't want to add, you know, an image that's 3000 pixels in a, into a container. What is housing, you know, what is housing the image that's only 800 pixels. Okay. That's not going to be very good. It's going to put a lot more work on your site's rendering and that's going to slow down your site. So make sure you're adding the correct image sizes first and foremost. And then when we discuss scaling, so if I scale down my browser right here, if I just go to the side like this, you can see that it automatically scales for me and that's great, but maybe you're having a little trouble with this. I'm going to give you a little bit of CSS code that you can use to help it properly um, scale. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your customizer. So I'm going to go to Appearance Customize. And then for my additional CSS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put IMG for image. And then I'm going to do height, colon, auto, semicolon, and then width, colon, 100%, semicolon. All right, so that's the code you need. That will help your images scale um, properly. Pretty much what it's saying is that the height should be auto to what the screen size is and width when we use percentage signs that works a lot better um, when you're dealing with uh, scaling images and response and making images responsive okay i hope that helps you guys and have a great day thanks for watching if this was helpful please subscribe and if you need extra help visit askquesty.com and send us your questions